princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Face Shop Lovely Pastel Cushion Blushes. These little blushes have super cute packaging and the collection comes with five really cute colours so I was really excited to try them out. The product description says, Lovely Pastel Cushion Blusher is a lovely powder blush compact with a range of sweet shades. This long lasting and non chalky powder blush gives you a vibrant glow to your face makeup. Encased in a very sweet packaging, this product is also infused with sebum controlling powders that avoids excessive oil production. These blushes come housed in cute little card containers with little decorations on the top. There are little puffs inside to apply the blush, but I find these really hard to use since it's hard to hold onto the little bows. There are five shades in this collection, ranging from super pale pink to peachy pink. In general, these blushes are not that pigmented. You can see how powdery they look in the swatches and it is quite necessary to knock off your brush before applying the blush. If I don't knock off the excess powder, it does create quite a bit of fallout and this can land on my shirt, which is not always the best look. The first shade is Rose, which is a rose pink with silver shimmer. This shade is my favorite from the collection. It has the best pigmentation and it is a shade that would be flattering for most skin tones. It's easy to apply and I really like how it looks on my skin. It's subtle and pretty. Coral is a pretty coral with subtle silver shimmer. Coral is my second favourite shade. This one does need a couple of layers to show up on my skin, even though I do have quite light skin. But it does look nice when it's applied. It's a really pretty colour, I just wish it was more pigmented and less powdery. Plum is a pretty pale pink with silver shimmer. This shade looks so pretty, but it's a struggle to actually see it on my skin. I really need to pack on two to three layers to get this colour. But when I do get it on my skin, it looks really pretty. It's just quite a lot of hassle. Pink is a super pale pink with no shimmer. Pink is even harder to apply than plum as it's much lighter. It's very powdery and requires three to four layers to get any color on my cheeks. Again, once you can see the color, it does look nice, but it takes quite a lot of effort to even see the color. It reminds me a lot of the Etude House Lovely Cookie Blusher in Strawberry Chew, but you just have to apply it three or four times to get the same color. Peach is a light orange shade with no shimmer. This shade is the second most pigmented shade in the collection, but it's still quite powdery. Even though it's pigmented in the arm swatch, it's not a shade that shows up very well on my face. This is actually my least favorite shade because I just don't like how it looks on my skin personally, but it's not a bad color in general. It's the same as the rest of the blushes where it needs a couple of layers on the skin to be even slightly seen. I'm really surprised that the product description states that these blushes have a non-chalky formula because I found that 4 out of 5 definitely did have a very chalky formula. However, I think that the colours are really pretty and unless, like me, you already own all of those Etude House lovely cookie blushes, these are probably really nice blushes to add to your collection too. But since I own all 12 of those blushes, I find that the colours are very, very similar and I really don't need both. So I love that these blushes have really cute packaging and a really good colour range. They're also fairly inexpensive at about 6 US dollars each. I don't love that they are very powdery with a lot of fallout. Some colours are really hard to see on the skin and I need to use 3 to 4 to 5 layers to actually get them to show up even on my pale skin. They also do ruin dewy looking makeup because they are so powdery. I ended up with matte looking patches on my face while the rest of my face looked dewy which was just a bit weird. So even though these blushes are really cute, they're not winners in my books aside from the rose shade. 
with the exception of the rose shade all of the shades are really powdery it's quite hard to apply them because there's a lot of fallout especially if you're going to be wearing a white shirt I found that I actually did get blush color on my shirt which is not ideal and since they are really matte and powdery I found them really hard to wear with my makeup because I do usually go for a dewy or a satin matte sort of look for my skin and I found that they looked too matte for the rest of my makeup However, the blushes are not awful and I think that the rose shade is especially pretty and works really well. The other four shades can work if you are going for a really matte skin look and you don't mind building up a few layers. Um, but for the price point, I think that you can find better blushes out there. So I would recommend the Face Shop Lovely Pastel Cushion Blushes for any princesses who are looking for blushes in super cute box packaging that have really subtle, pretty colour payoff. Thank you so much for watching this review and I'll see you next time.